Second question that I'm getting is about your lab assignments. So um, this week's first lab assignment was on chapter one. So today is the last day that I want you to get that lab assignment into me. Yes, you're gonna be doing a chapter a week in terms of your lab assignment. Remember, this is a 10 week course. So it's you know kind of having to do a lot more in a shorter amount of time. Well, not a lot more, but you're doing the work in a shorter amount of time. So now keep in mind, that's why I made the practice problems more time to work on, all right? Now I'm noticing, I'm getting some of your lab assignments, um, submissions, and let me go to, okay, I just did like a practice run here. Okay, so this is, I already did it to practice. So let me actually go to chapter two. Chapter two, workbook lab assignment. So you click on it. All right, so remember that in order to start the process of submitting your lab assignment, you click on take the quiz. You have one attempt and 15 minutes. So the point of this is for you to have already worked through the workbook, worked through the double starred and odd try it problems, do that chapters um, problems, and then when you're done, you'll go in and take the pictures based on what I ask for or scan the pages that I ask for. So I want to show you what I'm expecting from you in terms of a completed lab assignment. So I have, okay. So here is a page from chapter one. I think it's from 1.4. This is an example of a lab assignment that is not going to get full credit. Now, let me just talk about this particular page in your workbook. I highlighted the numbers of the problems that I want you to attempt, okay? I highlighted the try it problems. The try it problems are the problems that in your um, online textbook, the answers are given to you, okay? So notice that I have the answers here. The answer to try it problem 1.101 is 29. The answer to try it problem 1.103 is four. However, the online textbook gives that to you. So in order for you to get credit for doing your lab assignments, I need to see you attempting, show some steps that you took to get the answer. Even if you can't quite figure out how to totally get to the answer, I want to see your effort. So this is, now notice I have work showing here for the double starred problem, but again, the double starred problems in your online textbook, that work is given to you. So the double starred problems are like as if we were in class and I was maybe lecturing and I went over a problem with you, we did it together, right? So I worked the problem out on the board and you can copy from me and then I say, now you try it. So now you try it would be the odd try it problems. Notice that I am not asking for you to do the even try it problems. You can if you want to, it'd be great practice, but that is not what I am ask, I'm requiring of you. So some of you expressed concern on the length of the pages, the number of pages, and I understand that. Um, super important that you pace yourself, do a little bit every day in this class, but notice that there's only four problems that you're actually required to do yourself on this page. Sometimes it's less than that on a page. Um, now, let me show you what it looks like that would give you credit. This is what it would look like. Make it a little smaller so you can see more of it. This is what a lab assignment page would look like. That would be what I'm expecting for you to do. So you are, showing some work that helped you get to the answer for that problem. So you have a little work here to show how you got to the answer. If you notice, the try it problems are almost identical to the double starred problems. They're just different numbers. So again, the point is that like if we were in class and I were working on an example problem on the board, 
you guys would follow along with me. That would be like the double starred problems in the textbook. Then the try it problems, just the odd ones, that's your attempt to try to get the answer. And if you literally kind of follow along with the double starred problem, it's so similar in how you solve the try it problem, okay? So this is an example of a lab assignment that you would get credit for. Um, some of you scanned blank pages that would not um, meet the requirement for your lab assignment. Because this is your first lab assignment, I, do, I did give people who didn't get the full credit a second attempt. Um, but after this week, you will only have one attempt for your lab assignment, okay? So hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. A lot of you have been doing that and emailing me. That is excellent. That is what you're supposed to do. And again, if you don't have the workbook, if say you ordered it and it hasn't come in, or you, you know, for whatever reason, don't want to order it, you will have to either print the pages from a PDF copy of the workbook, or maybe you can have an electronic copy of the workbook and maybe write on it with a, you know, an Apple pen or something like that. But you have a PDF copy of the workbook in the orientation module under textbook and workbook requirements. So this is the book that you would buy from the bookstore, the workbook. If you don't wanna do that, you can click here and there's a PDF copy of the entire thing. So if you want to maybe print, you know, the pages that you need each week, you are welcome to do that. Um, you know, you can even get to it using this table of contents here. But you do have to have this workbook in some capacity in order to complete your lab assignments in this class. So if you have any questions, you know what to do shoot me an email, Canvas inbox. You can set up an appointment with me virtually or on campus using the link. Uh, I'm here to support you and help you. All right, you guys have a wonderful Monday and a great rest of the, rest of the week. See you later.